Hey everybody, welcome to Zippy Industries. Chris here, and today, after two years, two very long years, we're finally going to tear the Sportster chop apart and send the frame out for powder. So let's get to it. Damn it. All right, so some of you may have seen this previously. Uh, probably not, because I haven't really shown it. But we got our Sportster chopper here. Uh, bought this thing uh, two years ago. Uh, it's been a complete money pit. Um, yeah, uh, it was the very first one I bought, uh, you know, chopper type. Uh, it had already been hardtail with a, a TC Bros. And this really is what got me into this whole thing um, of doing this. Uh, I wanted to start with something cheap. Uh, paid 1900 bucks for the whole thing and then yeah it snowballed into a lot of money from there um, so we'll go over the bike real quick and then uh, we're going to tear it apart uh, we got some i got some final welding i need to do on the frame and whatnot and then uh we're gonna take the frame and send it to powder coat yeah all right so you all saw if you haven't seen these guys i built these a couple videos ago um our rabbit ear bars um used our rogue fab bender to make these uh pretty happy with these so depending on chroming or powdering these maybe chrome powder i don't know but the whole front end is brand new everything has been pot or like poly or sorry chrome all right this is one of those where i spent a bunch of money and didn't realize really uh how much sporty chops are actually worth um in case you don't know not a lot all right so this one's probably gonna stay with us we got i have like i have 3500 bucks just in chrome <laughs> and it it's not the greatest chrome either like it it's nice unless you needed the guy to like blend stuff and then they fucking didn't do that they just chromed over stuff so like the lowers these were shaved which this is way back in the day before i had a lathe and i actually did it with a uh with my grinder and like some scotch or some sandpaper and stuff uh it needed to be cleaned up and they didn't do it they just chromed over it like a bunch of assholes uh but this has all been chrome this is all new chrome like so we chrome the hub we chromed everything uh these are new buchanan spokes rebuilt the whole wheel um these were shaved and then chrome chrome these guys which i should have shaved them before we did uh that was my fault of course uh this is back before you know i really didn't know what the fuck i was doing i mean i still don't but you know live and learn uh we do have a whole other front end that uh is stock um these two are six over and we built the or i extended the frame to match it all right, so it sits pretty level. It doesn't have the really high up in the air front end, um, like a lot of them there, six over. Um, the neck ended up being around like 40 degrees. Down tubes have four inches added into them. I still need to, you can see where they're slugged. Uh, I still need, that's part of it. I still need to finish weld. Um, yeah, it's, this thing has went through multiple different iterations and scenarios. Uh, of build um, but the biggest thing that was holding me up were the exhaust pipes and how to mount them um, but I finally got a new and built a mount that I'm happy with and that I like all right so that's that uh, that's another thing that has to be finished welded the exhaust I'm pretty happy with how it fits all right um, this part back here was another part that held me up for a long time honestly it needs to be redone so probably gonna do that but for now we're gonna take it all apart and uh pack it with the frame but uh the motor was a fucking disaster when we got it all the aluminum was corroded you see it's been sitting um but one of the first things i did was chop this cover down all right and then i had a guy powder this and he got powder in the bushings for the cams on the on the on the inside um so that that was fun yeah uh, so I'd fix that. The motor's been completely rebuilt. Again, uh, not worth a lot, but it's got two grand just in the motor. Yeah. 
Uh, as much as in this thing, I could have bought a pan head, probably. Yeah, but we learned a lot. Built all this. This is all, this needs to be cleaned up and stuff. But this guy in here, my brother got these little bomb drops at one of the metal supply stores up by him. So I took one and welded it in here as a gusset. And, you know, kind of gives little uh, throws to what I actually do for a job. So, um, but still has factory neck. Um, this is factory. We bent it here so it matches with that. Uh, like I said, it does have a TC Bros hardtail, which is whatever. Honestly, it's not my favorite, and that's just because of these two down here on the bottom. I really wish they bent in here to match the top. But eventually, we're probably going to change this these out to something that bends better or build a whole new frame. Uh, we do have the jig now. Old Christian does make a Sportster engine jig. Of course, I have to buy that so uh yeah um so the exhaust mount was one of the big pieces we had to make and then this upper motor mount uh, i just made this the other day it's all stainless needs to be cleaned up of course um and polish it out one of the last things i do need to figure out is where to mount this damn choke for the makuni or we just put the uh we have a knockoff cv and we might just put that on there so yeah uh all craft tech controls because i'm an idiot um yeah it's a little stuff uh pm brakes pm brake calipers everywhere We've gotta make new lines because these are too long now the other bars i had on here were a lot wider so um yeah built the sissy bar way long ago it's been chromed again they were supposed to fix some of it and they didn't 33 tail light whole deal uh we got a solid cast wheel we're gonna run this um mainly just because i don't know i just really like how it looks with this uh you know the tough guy bike is what a lot of people call them i don't know the, i just like the cast wheel on this bike for whatever reason uh it does have a giant front wheel so we might swap this guy out with something narrower that's like a 2.15 so might go to like a 1.85 because it does flop a little bit um probably because of how you know how much rake and stuff we have in it and how long it is but yeah um this down here is our oil tank we built this guy and uh oil tank is all up here you can see the lines coming out i gotta change these out but the battery box is down here all the electronics are down here these bolts come out and then there's a whole cradle that holds the battery in in here so um yeah hopefully this motor runs because uh engine and frame built this thing which i trust Corey um with doing it but he's also no longer in business so uh yeah we all know how that goes but let's get the tearing it apart
All right, so here's where we currently are. All that is all. Yep. Just look at the engine. Uh, this thing is a pain in the ass because there are um, dowels in the bottom. Gee, the bottom of the top. I think it's the bottom. Um, so you have to get the release. So it's kind of a pain in the ass. So uh, we're going to lay it down on its side. I'm going to put some wood down and some covers and shit. Lay it down, then we're going to try and take the frame off of it. Um, because it's, especially trying to do this by yourself is a pain in the ass. So, and the motor's pretty tight in there. So let's, uh, let's get that going. going on here just got the wood under the motor it's level so now we just got to take uh, the, the mounts out the plates here those these four bolts that top one and then hopefully we lift the frame off yeah uh, we're probably gonna do the back bolts um, in the top first and then um, we'll do this bottom one and we'll leave this top one on. Um, that'll be the last one we take out so then we can have more, a little more control over it. So let's get to that. There we have it. Motor, or engine, sorry, frame. So, yeah, this thing's all been re rebuilt and everything, so it's good to go. Um, still need to prime the hole pump. I should figure out how to do that. Anyway, frame's all ready to go. Uh, needs finish welding. Uh, we got quite a few spots we gotta finish weld. Um, like this part here, we gotta weld that on. Gotta weld this. Um, go weld some other stuff, clean some other stuff up, weld those down tubes. Um, but other than that, it's it's pretty much ready. So, uh, gotta dress some stuff up and whatnot on it, and then we'll take it to the powder coater. Hopefully, next time you all see it, it will be powdered, and uh, some of the stuff will be painted, and we'll be putting this thing back together finally uh, after a two year. Uh, build right so things probably been sitting for about a year at least because we bought the other shovel and this thing went on the back burner because you know shovel head so but uh yeah that's gonna do it for this video so stay tuned for uh when we put this thing back together and hopefully fingers crossed this thing will run uh we're gonna do a video on that on first fire and uh and i hope it really runs <laughs> so uh that's gonna do it for now Take care and uh, we'll talk to you later.